Hey guys, Tapan Sharma here and I'm back with a short video about implementing dynamic theme uh, from the admin panel on any Laravel website. So I just got a project uh, for a school and on that website I wanted to implement the dynamic theme feature so that the admin, can, admin could dynamically change the colors of that website. So I just searched through the internet and didn't find a proper solution about implementing it so I just thought it myself and then build a logic about how we can implement that so what i did was so let me just show you how this uh, how the the implementation is working here so we have a primary color of green here as you can see and now if i go to the settings and then if i select a color here suppose if i want the red color and now I've chosen the red color and if I go and update the settings then that color is applied and if I go and reload the page as you, as you can see the color is applied here so this in this way we can implement the dynamic theme feature on any website using Laravel or any other language so this is just a concept so we can apply it anywhere so this is using the dynamic theme and with this concept we can or what we can also do is since I'm only using the only one column here so i'm only setting this colors data on the database and let me also show you the database structure here of uh, of how i'm implementing this so as you can see here i have a settings table here and i have defined a column in the settings table for theme color and we are storing the hex value here so depending on the hex value our color changes on the main front end website so using this concept what we can actually do is we can uh, define multiple columns and then change the color of multiple attributes of our of our website like if we have a main theme and then we can also change the color of the buttons and the color of the text here so we can actually define all these fields in our database and then depending on these fields we can change we can display we can apply the colors or uh, we can apply the colors of uh, of those columns in our front end website so we are we can actually implement the whatever functionality we want using this logic so i'm going to be talking about how i actually implemented this by showing the source code so that you can implement implemented yourself so let's talk about the implementation so if i go to the visual studio code and what i have uh, done here is i have defined a master.blade.php file so this is a kind of a of a layouts file as uh, as we see on the in the default laravel project so we are extending so this file is extended on all the other files that we define here so what I'm doing here is I'm defining all the bootstrap and required CSS files. And after de defining all these normalized CSS and style CSS files. So this is the main style CSS file that the that our project is using. And after defining the style CSS file, what I'm doing here is I'm defining a style tag here. As you can see, I have defined a style tag and i'm overriding the all the classes that uses the color main color on our website so the background of the slick nav slick slick nav button and all the header header content so what i'm basically doing is i'm just uh, overriding all these classes with our main by taking the color from our database so i have a column i'm extracting the column uh, the value from our database in a settings variable and then we have the column name is theme color so what i'm doing here is i'm calling the color property so this is the css color property and then i am executing the php code so php echo and then settings theme color so we are actually applying this value from our database and doing the same thing here so i'm just uh, i'm just using the php code here to apply our color so this is the hex value that we get here and that gets applied so it makes our website theme dynamic so it, in this way i actually applied the dynamic theme from for my website so this settings variable is accessible in all our view files so what i've done is i have a 
defined in, in our app service provider so if we go and check our providers app service provider so what i'm doing here is i'm just extracting getting the first column of our settings table so settings uh, table storing it our settings variable and then i'm just sharing that with the name of settings and then the value that we get here so this is a single record of settings and then we can access this settings variable on all the blade files that we have in our resources views folder so we can access that settings and then i'm accessing the theme color so basically now what we can do is we can actually define more columns in our settings table so theme color button color and background color everything that you need for your website so specific to your need we, uh, you can define all these and then use these uh, variables in your if you are extending it into a, from a blade file then you can uh, use these in your blade file and that way we, we you can actually and that way we can actually make our website dynamic so I just wanted to give the uh, give a quick tip about how we can actually implement such features as I didn't find it anywhere in the internet so I thought of sharing it with uh, sharing it with you all and that makes our website dynamic and also the admin or the user of the website has more customization options and so I hope you like the video and if you like the content do subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel to stay updated about the future releases so and i'll be adding such kind of videos in the future as well so stay subscribed to get all the notifications in the future and until next time have a great day and i'll see you in the next one